I love ripping packs as much as the next collector, but I always tell my friends and my viewers that buying singles is the way to go. Welcome to the Versus series, where I buy unopened product and then use the same amount of money on singles of that same product. Will my curated singles purchases win every time? Or will cracking fresh wax prove me wrong with something huge? Let's find out. What's up everybody, Frank A's HP Collectibles here with the premiere episode of Versus series. Without further ado, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk too much. I wanna get into this. It's been a while since I broke product. So uh, also bear with me since this is a first episode. I may, uh, <laughs> the formatting of the episode may not be perfect, um, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, I guess I gotta cover background. I'll make it real quick. I picked up two, these two autos at a sports card show. I think I probably paid a buck or two each. Jalen Martin and Nathan Missia Dio. Uh, the Jalen Martin is possible 2024 pick and possible second round pick from the guy from Belgium, uh, Nathan Missia Dio. Uh, then on the one retail pack that I purchased online because it was just really cheap from a random seller uh, got it for like three or four dollars got the retail pack in opened it up pulled a gold wave on Thompson number to 50 so one of the twins obviously that's who we're aiming for here and I do have a little cheat sheet of uh, right above me here you can't see it but it's right up here and it says uh, for the singles and for the Plus some of the players, it says what their estimated draft status is for either this year or next year um, or whatever. So we know that the Thompson twins are both going in the first lottery picks, basically. Uh, Amon Thompson's supposed to go around five and his brother is supposed to go around 10. So the NBA draft is tomorrow. So this is a, a, a very nicely timed video. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and start ripping packs. Let's, uh, let's see what we can get. It's been a while since I've ripped some packs. Let me walk the white balance here. All right. All right. I'm gonna get my fingerprints all over these. Matt Bewley, we got one of these inserts. These are, um, what is it, 1969-70 design, which is pretty cool. So nothing crazy there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip these fairly quick because like I said, I got the singles too. A uh, bunch of base here and future problems insert. I will sleeve everything up afterwards. I hate doing this to Chrome, I like sleeving them all. Oh, we got a blue. Blues are numbered to 99, unless it's an auto. But we got Ryan Bewley, Matt Bewley, the, the other twins. Who do we get? Uh, I don't even know who this dude is, Josiah Gortman. But I mean, I don't know who a lot of these people are. 96 of 99, so we got a random blue there. Um, in fact, you know what? Let me take the moment to make some stacks here so that you guys can tell what is coming out of these packs. Inserts there, base up here. Oh, I missed a refractor. Um, and some of these may be short prints as well, but I can check for those later. All right. Alexander Saar, we got an Asar Thompson. Insert, cool. Um, his dad plays in the, or no, his older brother plays in the NBA. Uh, it is, shoot, you know what? I can't remember his name, but. I got, I'm getting fingerprints all over these things. Sar, we got Jalen Martin Refractor. TJ Clark. No base Thompsons yet, just that one color. Plenty of refractors, or plenty of uh, inserts and refractors. Looks like we got a teal or a green here. Uh, 
it's the same dude, Gortman, who I, which I don't know. I haven't done much research on. So we got a teal. What are teals to? 199. All right. We're guaranteed one auto in here. Okay, another Gortman. Uh, our refractor, Dominic Barlow, Nathan Missia. Base. been a while since I cracked packs, you guys. Uh, all right, Jai Smith, Retro, Cobbs, Montero, Gortman. Decent, uh, decent stack there. A lot of these guys are going to be either go undrafted or go in the in the second round this year or first or second round next year. Oh, we got a Aqua Wave. We got, let's see, Cobbs, insert Dominic Barlow, and it's Luis Duarte. That is to 199. All right. And then, oh, we got a Thompson there, Thompson base. Cool. Another Thompson, very nice. In fact, I'm gonna put those off to the side. Thompson Twins. We got Cobbs. We got a refractor of Bryce Griggs. And Ryan Bewley. <clears throat> Halfway through the box here. Tyler Smith, Ryan Bewley, a retro. And Gene Montero. Okay, something something good in here. Another another teal. Maybe this is an auto. Uh, we got Barlow, future problems insert. Okay, there's our auto. John Ed Walker, um, which is funny. This guy's from Puerto Rico, I think. Let's see. Do I have it on my shortcut? <clears throat> uh, no, I think he's from Puerto Rico, and he. Went undrafted last year and is currently playing in a Puerto Rican pro league uh, right now. And he's a he's a short point guard, I believe. So, eh, like, not the auto I'm looking for. Let's see if maybe we can make it up with something else. Uh, a nice refractor, maybe even a, a printing plate, who knows. Montero, Clark, Insert Future Problems, Malik Bowman, Warren. Moving on. Come on, give me some good color here. Okay, we got a purple. Cock yet. Uh, speaking of cock yet, there he is in a purple. Don't remember what happened with him yet. I um I do I do have a spreadsheet of like what's going on with all these guys and I'm Malik Bowman, but I only I only printed out the stuff what's up with the guys on the singles that I picked up, so I can refer to it if I got a single of one of those guys. We got Davion Mace, got a, a retro Bryce Griggs teal refractor. I don't know. That's uh, interesting. It doesn't look like a normal refractor. It looks like like an aqua refractor. Maybe it's this is one of the variants. I don't know, but it says it doesn't say refractor on the back, and it's not serially numbered. I'll have to look up and find out what that is, or I'll put it on screen. What do we got? Three more packs left. Sar. Matt Bewley insert. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Two autos per box then. There is uh, Alexandre Sar, Otto, and another Thompson. That might be a variant too. I don't even know. But uh, cool. All right. Two autos. So I wasn't even paying attention to how many autos are in a box. So if it said it came with two autos, then very nice. All right. Two more packs. Let me see some like gold or red, maybe. We got a refractor of Izan Almansa 
and from what I understand, he is really good, and he he will he will probably go first round next year in 2024, at least as long as he stays healthy and, and keeps performing. Last pack, this seems thick. I don't know why. Um, okay, we got a purple, Malik Bowman. Let's give me one of the Thompsons. Eh, maybe not. Gortman again. Three Gortman refractors. So those uh, purple is to $2.99. And then Jonah Walker base again. So we, we got a decent stack of base. We got three Thompsons rookies. Um, we got a bunch of inserts. As you can see, nothing serially numbered from what I can tell. I can take a look at the back of them here, but nope, no numbered inserts. So we have a stack of inserts. We got a decent stack of color, a blue, a teal, a teal wave, a purple, whatever that is, um, I don't know. Logo teal, not numbered, and uh, another purple. In fact, this purple's the 299. Normal card number, okay. And then this purple's the 299. And they do look different. It could just be, it could be variants, or it could be just a different design for a different card number. But one's got the OTE background, which I noticed some of these cards do have on the, on the refractors. So um, two autos, not the, the autos I was looking for. But I think at this point, it's time to look over our singles. So. Uh, let me go ahead and move and readjust some of this stuff. Pile of refractors. Pile of color. Two autos. And it's time to get started. So that box was $70. Was it worth $70? Mm, probably not. Um, I mean, I'm sure it would be even a worse ROI if I was buying panini but here we are all right so where's my variable oh my variable stashed off to the side okay so I got it I got a real good stack and we'll go over those so uh, first off Jalen Lewis a pair of aqua refractors this was 225 so I'm gonna keep track on the uh, on the on the screen somewhere. Um, Jalen Lewis, what's the word with Jalen Lewis? Still an OTE possible 2024 pick. We don't know yet. Still too young. Keep in mind, all these guys are like 18 years old. <laughs> all right, next up, lot of 13 Aqua Refractors for nine dollars and fifty cents shipped. So some of these came from the same seller as well, which means that I got a deal. A discount on shipping but here we are 13 aqua refractors okay so these are aqua these are the ones with the OTE in the background we got one of those in our box so Jai Smith, Bewley, Griggs, Bowman, Barlow, Saar, Barlow, Izan, Cesare, Duarte, and Cobbs um, I can cover some or more of these guys and the other singles, but when it comes to like the lots, I'm just gonna leave them as is. Uh, all right, speaking of, here we are, a blue refractor, Cobbs, not, serially numbered to 99, $2.75. Um, Cobbs, let's see, Cobbs is, he's an Arizona local. He went to Shadow Mountain High School, in fact. Uh, so local to me and local to a lot of my my community um, went to Shadow Mountain, which was coached by Mike Bibby of U of A and NBA. Uh, then he won the state championship in his freshman year with Mike Bibby as coach, then went to two different prep schools, Hillcrest Prep in Gilbert and then Eduprise in, I believe, Gilbert. Uh, then he went to OTE. So pretty cool. I don't know whether he's going to get drafted, whether he's going this year or next year, but uh, kind of a uh, kind of a local a local legend already at the age of 18. So good job for him. 
but very nice. Blue refractor for under three bucks. All right, moving on. Uh, Blue Wave refractor of Tyler Smith. And Tyler Smith, earlier this month, he signed a one-year contract with the G League at Ignite. So no longer with OTE, now officially in NBA, G League. Once again, 18-year-old in G League, you never know what's going on, but pretty cool. And uh, very good, easy, cheap for prospecting. 225 for that. Look at that. A lot of 18 purples, all serial number to 299 for under 10 bucks. In fact, there are a couple good ones in here, I think. We got Missy Adio, Bowman, Bowman, Fortman, Duarte, Jai Smith, uh, Jonathan Walker, Jazante Jackson, Izan, Bryson Warren, Barlow, Griggs, Martin, Montero, Griggs, Buley, Buley, and Emmanuel Maldonado. So, um, pretty cool stack. Once again, under $10 for 18 purples, all serially numbered to 99. So that's that goes for all the normal refractors. Now here, a lot of two future so bright variations. So maybe the uh, maybe those are just on the refractors, but there's a Buley and a Gortman. That was 225 for those two variations. In fact, I should probably check my box here. Any of these future so bright are all basic. They're all basic. So we didn't get any of the future so bright variations, at least not of regular refractor. Now, obviously you saw what we got for autos. We got Sar and we got Walker. Um, do I have info on them? I don't have them on me. I'll put it on screen for Sar. Jonathan Walker. I don't have info for him in front of me either. So I will put that on screen. Whatever I had for my notes on, on the spreadsheet, I will throw on here. But what I will do is start here. Uh, autos, we're hitting autos now. Matt Bewley, $2.75. Basic auto, not numbered. But uh, Matt Bewley, possible first round pick for 2024, as well as his brother. So two more twins. Everybody's talking about the Thompson twins, but the Bewley twins are probably draft picks next year. Where they land is a question, but $2.75, okay. Then we got, you know what, let me put this down here. We got another auto, we got Ryan Bewley auto, so we got his brother, his twin brother, and Ryan Bewley, once again, also first round draft pick 2024. That was a whopping 225. Then we had a TJ Clark auto, possible first round 2024, once again. So not this year, but next year. So I just hold. That was a whopping 275. Then we got Martin, Jalen Martin Auto, 275. Jalen Martin, poss possible 2024 pick, probably not a first rounder, um, probably not anything to bank on, but at 275, okay. Another Auto, Griggs, Griggs Auto. What do we got? Or, yeah, Griggs, possible pick in 2024, kind of the same situation as Jalen Martin. We don't know yet, he's too young. Um, probably won't go first round if things ended today, but we'll see what happens. Uh, next up, Malik Bowman auto. Malik Bowman, I have zero information on. I could find his OTE playing stuff. Couldn't find out what he's done since then. I don't know what's going on with him, but either way, that was $2.75. Uh, moving on, we're still, we're still going. We are definitely not at $70 yet. So Missia auto, Aqua to 99, so cool. Missia, he, as I mentioned previously, he's the Belgian guy, possible second round this year. Um, if he doesn't go second round this year, he'll go undrafted. But uh, there is an Aqua to 99, paid $2.25. Next up, Jai Green. 
Jai Green is the... What? Jai Smith. I don't know why I said... <laughs> I was looking at the color. That was 275. Jai Smith, he's the guy who announced in March he's playing with the Sacramento Kings summer team. So, okay, cool. Playing with the Kings now as of this year already. Uh, this upcoming next year, I should say. All right, we now we have a gold wave for TJ Clark, who we mentioned possible possible first round 2024 ceiling number to 50 TJ Clark gold wave auto. That was 375. And there's a big boy, kind of. There's a blue to 99. Amon Thompson, that was one of the, it was probably the best thing that I picked up singles wise. Besides the variable, we will get there in a second. But Amon um, Blue to 99, which is really cool because it matches, matches my gold wave. So we can hope that he does some good things. As we mentioned, it should be top five pick. So at this point, we are looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven autos, twelve autos, thirteen autos, thirteen autos, um, a, a stack of eighteen ceiling numbered to two ninety nine purple refractors, a blue wave, an aqua. Uh, a stack of aquas of 13 here and two here and a blue a blue to 199 so that's everything that I picked up just to separate it out here hopefully my top cam can cover all this I may have to change around the format a little bit I got three Thompson out of the box I got three Thompson base and a bunch of decent stuff uh, a small stack of regular refractors, a small stack of inserts, and a small stack of refractors with these two autos. Um, which would you take? This, all of the singles totaled up $71.25, whereas the box cost me 70. The box was fun, it was a cool rip, but if you want to have anything maybe long time meaningful in a collection and you're spending a bunch of money on unopened product might not do it singles is almost always the way to go and believe me i want the box to prove me wrong i really do because that means i pull something good now now we talk about the variable so what if what if you don't know anything about prospecting on basketball you don't care to learn you don't want to read up on where these guys are what they've been you know what they've been doing who they've played with etc or you just want to aim just for the big guys so like you just want you just want thompson you want to open up some ote you just want the thompson guys would you alternatively instead of all of this for the singles pickups right instead of all that for the singles would you instead do this Thompson blue and this auto on Thompson aqua auto ceiling number to 99 these two right here equal $71. So you got 71 or you got 71 without that of course or you got 70. So that was my first episode. Um, I am excited to do this because I do enjoy ripping product. I will probably be ripping cheap product as shown here at $80 a hobby box. I'm not ripping Donruss Optic non-white, whatever they call it, versions that, that are, are going for $650. Not happening. I'm a budget collector, but I like occasionally ripping wax, but I don't like retail because you can't barely ever pull anything out of retail. 
which speaking of, I do have another one of these episodes on OTE with three retail boxes. So that will happen the next, probably the next versus episode that you watch will be three retail boxes of OTE 2021-22, just like this is. So um, there's obviously the highlight. I'm glad I picked that up. You know, if he turns out to be nothing, oh well. You know, if he turns out to be the next Kevin Durant or whatever, okay, I paid $52 for a rookie auto. So I'm happy with that. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, I, I did this for several different reasons. Because it's fun, because I get to open product, because I get to show people that singles are almost always better. Uh, and that's not taking any rip on tops either. I love I love the product of tops. I'm not gonna say I love everything they do as a company, but I love the product. And um, I'm still satisfied with this box rip. It was okay, it was good. Uh, it would it could have been better if I pulled a different auto, of course. That's the nature of the beast. But please let me know in the comments what you would have picked. The box, the lot number one, or the wild card with just the two cards. What would you what would you pick if you had an option? Not between what I got here, but just an unopened box. Uh, but knowing knowing what you're gonna rough rough estimate of what you're gonna get, but nothing specific. Uh, let me know in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this, check out the Instagram and the Twitter where I post my collection right here. Ding. And uh, thank you for watching. Give me a like and a subscribe if you care. And if you don't, it's all good. Whatever you do, have a great rest of the day. I'll see you in the next vid. Peace.